Hello again, I'm David Adamson, an AI scientist at Turnitin and a former high school teacher. So Turnitin is getting ready to share an AI writing detector with our users, with you, the instructors, so that you can engage with and understand how your students are beginning to use AI writing tools. It's important for us to be clear with you about the reliability of our predictions. We have decided to prioritize precision in our detector. That is, if we say that a document has AI writing in it, we want to be pretty sure about that. Preferring precision might mean we miss some AI writing that's really there. We might have a lower recall. We're fine with that. Let's miss some stuff and be more right about what we find. Our evaluation set is a big bag of documents representing as best we can the many ways people can write in an academic context and the way they're using AI writers, perhaps mixed in with their own authentic writing. We're using this data to set a threshold on our predictions, only counting text as AI written if its detection score meets our high precision target. When we're wrong, it will be an under prediction more often than not. Except when we don't, because sometimes we won't. We expect we'll be wrong about one out of a hundred fully human written documents. That is a false positive rate of about 1%. That's pretty good, but it's not zero. And that means you'll have to take our predictions as you should with the output of any AI powered feature from any company with a big grain of salt. You, the instructor, have to make the final interpretation. You know the student, you know the context. And it's important for you to know how and when we might be wrong. So here's some sense of the flavor of our false positives. First of all, repetitive writing. If a text substantially repeats itself, either word for word or closely paraphrasing what came before, it may get predicted as AI writing when it's just super redundant. Second, and relatedly, our detector is meant for paragraphs of English language prose, not for lists, outlines, short questions, code, or poetry. And sometimes such submissions have a lot of self-similarity from item to item, and they don't read like paragraphs, and that is going to cause us to stumble. So this prompts a big question. What about developing writers, English language learners, whose writing might be more redundant? Well, we very purposefully oversample from such writing in both our training data and our evaluation set. Despite this, real talk, our false positive rate is slightly higher for secondary level writing for middle and high school students than it is for higher education. Still near our 1% target, but there is a difference. We'll be working on this. However, happily, we don't yet see any evidence that we're biased against English language learners from any country at any level. And that's the sort of thing we're gonna keep a close eye on as we move towards production. So I hope this gives you all a sense of how we're approaching this task. We want to own our mistakes. We want to understand and share with you how and when we're wrong. We're leaning in for precision and fairness, even if it means we might miss some AI writing that's there. Thank you.